Hello, this is Kevin Link. I'm an applications engineer with Go Engineer. And today I'm going to show you how to create a title block table inside your drawing template such that you can add custom properties to your parts and assemblies directly from the drawing itself. Now the first thing you want to do is start off with a drawing that contains uh, a part. In this case you want a part that actually has um, some custom properties in it already. So just going over to my part real quick and checking its properties, I can see that I've already included a manufacturer, the finish, and the cost here as my custom properties. Now you may already have it set up so those properties are automatically showing up in your um, sheet format, your title block. In this case we can see the machined custom property is already showing up there and uh, but we still have some blanks for the manufacturer and cost so I'm going to quickly add some links to those custom properties in the part as well anytime you want to add something to your title block in general the first thing you do is right click and choose edit sheet format that'll clear out all the other drawing information you have there and focus on primarily a title block and anything else you have drawn on the paper itself so in this case, I've already got a linked um, annotation here. You can see dollar sign PRP sheet um, linking to the finish as a custom property. I want to add a couple other ones. So we'll just start with a note. I've already got manufacturer typed in as just some regular text. But for linked annotations, you want to place your block. Actually, go over to the left-hand side and choose link to property. This is the reason that I want to have a part in my drawing that I can choose these properties from makes it a little easier so I'll click into the model specified and sheet properties and then I can actually just choose any custom properties that have added to that particular part so I'll go here and grab manufacturer for this custom property and click out to add that I'm going to add a another annotation here for the cost as well so I'll place this block here and link that to uh, the cost Right. And we can see that information automatically populate, which is probably what's going on in your title block already. Difference here is if I'm still in edit sheet format, I actually have to go back into that. While I'm in edit sheet format, if I right click again and choose define title block, it'll bring up um, an area here. Now this area just specifies where when you double click um, inside of it on the drawing you're going to be able to access your custom properties of your uh, part and assembly files directly so the first thing you want to do is kind of drag that around um, where your title block is on your drawing because you don't want to always be adding those custom properties once you've added that you can go through and select which custom properties you want to be accessible on your drawing in this case I'm gonna add my annotation for the machined um, custom property as well as manufacturer and cost and generally the way you want to do this is uh, add these in an order in which you would prefer to enter them um, and the reason there is just that you'll be tabbing through these properties and inserting the information you need to in whatever order makes sense okay so we'll just start on the left hand side because I'm only going to add a few of these right now and just go ahead and click on each of the properties you see them add to the text fields over here in the title block table property manager the next will add cost and um, we'll add the finish there as well All right, I'm also going to add in the drawn by property here this one is actually linked to if you see there it says dollar sign PRP that means that uh, that particular property is going to go back to the drawing and not the part or assembly. So I'll click to add that text box as well as the checked um, or who that's checked by. Okay. Uh, the order here, if you do want to change it ever, you can right click while editing the sheet format and choose uh, define title block or edit title block table and it'll let you change that order. We'll stick with this order for now. When I hit OK and exit my sheet format, 
I can now see a little bit different behavior uh, when by cursor when I bring it over the title block. Now you see a little wand with some dust there and the title block table icon. When I click or double click into this area, it highlights all those text fields that I just added to the title block table. And that means that I can directly change these. So if I come in here and make a change uh, to the cost, um, actually it's going to go through the order that you type them in. I can just hit enter for the ones I don't need to change. Okay, I'll change the price here to $3 instead of $3.50 and hit enter through the rest. I'll also add um, who it was drawn by and who it was checked by in this case. Once I've added the properties that I want, I can hit the check mark. Um, you can see it's updated in my title block but it also adds these properties. In this case, these two go to the properties of my drawing. You can see drawn by KL, check by TR added there. And then the change that I've made here in this table directly changes the properties of the part. I'll check that as well. All right, so you can see that change $3 uh, being made across there without having to go back to the part and make a change to custom properties. Um, the only thing left to do at this point is actually save those settings to our template. So for your template, you don't want to have any actual views in here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that particular view. And I want to make sure to save both the sheet format and the drawing template. So first go to File, Save Sheet Format. Um, choose the location where your sheet formats are and you can make those changes. I'll save that template there. Overwrite my template. And then I'm also going to save the sheet format or the sheet, uh, sorry, the drawing template. I'll go file save as, change this to drawing template and save it over the same template. I'll go ahead and say yes. All right, and I want to test it out with a completely new part. So in this case, I'll close out my existing block. Start a totally new part. And uh, just add a simple block here again. All right. Something like that. All right. And I'll go ahead and save this. So I'll just call it um, new block. Now just to show you, this particular file does not have any properties associated with it. Go in here. Uh, it does have the default material weight set in there, but no manufacturer data, no cost, and no finish at this moment go ahead and make a drawing using my existing template that I just edited. All right, bring in a view like so and uh, actually edit this by going into my title block, double clicking and adding the data as I need to. So in this case, you add my manufacturer block co Right, and set the cost here at two dollars and I'll change the finish here to um, machined. Once I've entered all the information I can change the drawn and checked by those got saved with my template um, into the drawing you can make it so that's not the case just by removing those that data before saving your template and sheet format hit the green check and then by switching back to my block I can now see those properties show up in its list so if I go to configuration specific it's just going to add your manufacturer data the cost and finish to the properties at the part and this is, goes both ways if you need to change anything here right you've now got a totally linked um, drawing title block once again, my name is Kevin Link, and I hope you enjoyed that tech tip.